Here we have the Moto Edge 30 Neo. Out of all of the new Moto Edge smartphones, this one right here is the most affordable. Now, right now on the market, there are a whole bunch of different mid-range smartphones. But what does this thing right here actually has to offer? Hey guys, my name is Leonard and today we will take a look at a Moto Edge 30 Neo. Now the Moto Edge 30 Neo is nowhere close to the Edge 30 Plus or the Edge 30 Ultra. But this one right here still has some cool features and let's start off with the design. Now this compact little smartphone only weighs in at 155 grams and the reason for that is that we get a whole lot of plastic on this one. We also get a 120Hz P OLED display which does feel nice paired with the smooth Android 12. If we want to, we can even downgrade that to a 60Hz refresh rate which makes this phone a lot more energy efficient. And you get more out of your battery life and if you ask me, it's definitely worth it and you do really see a big difference. Now as you also can see, we have a purple frosting coating which has a matte touch to it and dual lenses on the back. Around the upper lenses, there are tiny LED rings which lightens up when you receive notifications or if your smartphone is charging. And the phone is splash water and dust resistant. Now getting over to the actual display. Now the Moto Edge 30 Neo has a 6.28 inch P OLED display, 1080p resolution with a 120Hz refresh rate. Overall the brightness on this phone is excellent with up to 1000 nits. I had no problems reading anything out in the sun. When it comes to looking at pictures and watching videos, the colors on the Edge 30 Neo are sharp and you get a lot of contrast. And the only problem is that there is just no HDR support. And as well as the fingerprint sensor, now just like with most smartphones, this one works here just fine. It is responsive and I never had any problems with it. On the bottom of the phone, we get our speakers and they do get pretty loud. But just let me give you some examples right quick. There I have the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 and it doesn't get better than with these two. You get all of the smartwatch features like customizable watch faces. Now before getting this phone, we can decide between a 128 or a 256 gig version. And we should really think about it twice since the storage in here is not expandable. All right, if we're talking about the UI, we basically have Android 12 with a few Moto features. Moto has a little extra app with different customization options. So you can personalize the display size, icon shape, the layout, and your base colors and wallpapers. You will also find some gesture controls like double tapping the back of your phone to get quick to one of your apps. You have the usual three finger tap to create a screenshot or the peak display lets you read, respond or interact with notifications while your screen is locked. By the way, if you have multiple Motorola devices, you get the full Moto experience. You can flip the phone upside down to turn on the D&D mode or do a chopping motion to quickly turn on or off the flashlight. Now if you compare the Moto 30 Edge Neo to its siblings, the probably biggest difference is in the chipset. Now this one right here has the Snapdragon 695 5G. Now compared to other similar smartphones, in this price range, this one is just not as good and overall it has a lower benchmark score, but at least we get 5G connectivity. Now I tried playing some games on this phone and to be honest, it was actually working all right. Games aren't lagging and just the buffering time sometimes is a little bit longer. You also feel a difference when it comes to the night mode shot with the camera since they always take a second longer than what I am used to. When it comes to the battery life, I'm pretty pleased. Now with the 4020mAh battery, you should get about 6 hours on on-screen time, plus this phone charges super fast. In just 15 minutes, you get all the way up to 50% and after 30 minutes, you should reach something around 90%. And the last great thing is that the Moto Edge 30 Neo also supports wireless charging on the back side of it. Let's finally talk about the camera. Now as I already mentioned, you have two basically three cameras. Now on the back side you have two, one main camera with 64 megapixel with OIS and you have a 13 megapixel ultra wide with autofocus so you can actually take macro shots as well with this phone which look all rightish. 
Also the nighttime shots aren't the best, especially when you switch over to the wide angle camera. On the front side of the smartphone, we of course also get a selfie camera that can take videos in 1080p with 30 frames per second. And on the back side, we have other two cameras that can record in 1080p with 60 frames or in 30 frames per second. But the downside to that, to this phone, is that we cannot record in 4K. If you want to record in 4K in 60 or 120 frames per second, you have to switch over to the Plus or over to the Ultra version. But just let me give you some examples right quick. Okay, let's check out a little bit of the video quality. Now, this one I'm taking with the selfie camera at 180p with 30 frames per second since it's capped. So you cannot go at 60 frames or 120 frames like we can do with the front camera. So that's how it looks. Still looks pretty decent. Now let's check out the front camera. All right, now this time we are checking out the front main camera. And this one also only records in 1080p, no 4K, but at least we get 30 and 60 frames per second. Whereas the selfie camera only is capable of 30 frames per second. And guys, there we have it. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next one. Peace.